Hello from SlideNerd and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In the last two videos, I showed you guys how to make a simple object oriented program in Java for finding the area of a circle. What are the following things we did? First, we defined what was a circle by with the help of this class over here. We said that there is something called circle and it has something called radius. It has something called area. Then we actually created a circle over here and then we said that this circle has a radius of 3.5 over here and then we calculated the area by saying pi into r into r and then we assigned that to the c dot area so that the area of r circle c is nothing but 3.5 into blah 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 right and then we printed this out and you guys saw some value here in this video i'm going to show you how to make this better the first question you ask is what is bad about this well let's take a simple example and find out now let's say I have another circle whose area I need to calculate. Let us assume that that circle has a radius of 4.1. So what will you do? First you have to make it. I'm going to say circle C2 equals to new circle. And then I have to assign the value of 4.1 to that. And then I have to calculate the area, right? So let me copy paste these three statements. So here I'm going to say 4.1 for the radius. And I'm also going to call this C2. This is where you will make a mistake. Be careful. C2 dot area is 3.14 into C2 dot radius into C2 dot radius and then print C2 dot area. If you're using NetBeans, Control S, Shift F6 to run. And there you go. It says 52.7899 is the radius of our second circle, C2. And 38.465 is the radius of our first circle, C1, which is C, right? So what is the problem? As you guys notice, the part about creating object is fine. But other than that, we are repeating a whole lot of steps to find the area. Every time for a new circle, we assign the value of the radius. We find the area using this formula and then we print it out. So can there be a better way of doing this? Very simple. Yes. If you remember the definition of our class that we've been talking about, a class is nothing but the collection of common properties and actions of a set of objects, right? So here we said that there is something called class circle. We said that what are the properties of a circle? We said there's a radius, there's an area, right? Now, what are the actions that you can perform with the circle or the circle can perform? If you guys remember, we can find area, right? We can find diameter, find perimeter. These are some of the actions that you have. Now remember, all these words are verbs in English, right? So they actually translate into methods in Java. Now here, for our case, we are only interested in finding the area. We are not interested with the other two. So I'm going to remove this. Now just watch what I do and how I remove these three lines and reduce them into something small. Now just take a good look. I'm going to make a method over here. I'll call it public void find area. Again, if you guys are new to making methods, I have talked about methods in my first three videos in my playlist. You can definitely go ahead and check them out. So here. This is my find area method, which is nothing but like an assistant. This assistant will calculate the area for me by saying something like this area equals to radius into radius into 3.14. So now this assistant not only calculates the area, but he also prints it by saying system dot out dot print ln. I'm going to say area over here. All right. Now I need to tell the assistant what is the radius so that he can find the area, right? So for that, I'm going to say double R over here inside the code. I'm going to say radius equals to R. So what are the things I'm doing? I'm making an assistant find area, which is a method. It takes a number R, which is the radius. This R is stored inside this radius variable out here. And then I simply calculate the area by saying radius into radius into 3.14 and I print it out. Now observe carefully how I change everything. I'm going to remove these three statements and I'm going to remove these three statements. All right. So at this point, what do I have? I have my circle C, I have my circle C2. I'm going to simply say C dot, as you guys notice, the find area has appeared over here. So I'm going to say C dot find area for 3.5 and for C2, I'm going to say C2 dot find area for 4.1. Control S, Shift F6, and take a look. It is the same code, which is highly reduced thanks to us making a method over here inside the circle class. 
So remember, a class is made up of properties which are in the form of the simple variables and actions which are in the form of methods. These methods provide a way to use the properties that you define above and do something with them. For example, here we have the radius property, we have the area property, we use that radius property and the area property to calculate in the radius, right? And then we simply printed it out. So when I say find area 3.5, this 3.5 value goes here inside double R and then that R is assigned to this radius. In other words, our radius becomes 3.5 and then we calculate the area as radius into radius, blah, blah, blah. And then that area is printed for C. Remember, for C2, these values will differ. You get the point about how methods work now? So this is the way that you reduce stuff and make things better. So if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a nice day.